What up, yo? It's your boy Jay. Welcome back. It's week number three. Thank you for everybody that's just that had. This is this, this is a problem for me every single time. <laughs> what up, yo? It's your boy Jay. Week number three. Welcome back, Jack. So I want to thank you guys for last week, man. You guys left some really cool comments. Uh, a bunch of you tuned in to watch. It was a long video, I know. My my intention was, you know, I've been like Googling it, right? So I've been on the internet and the Google's on the internet. Um, I searched the internet to see what the ideal length for a YouTube video was, and, and I was told that it was eight to 12 minutes. Yes, mine was 17 minutes and 30 some odd seconds, but I tried. And I needed, to, I, I needed to dig deep and really show you from the beginning. Of course, a paper route at 10 isn't the same. I agree. However, managing at Rogers, working for the bank, having my own business, those were career choices that I all left to become an actor. So no matter whether you're 18, year old, 18 years old and you're fresh out of high school and you know nothing, don't be offended, or you're 55 and you've been in a job that you really don't like, it's never too late. And that was the point of the video. So thank you for watching. This week's video is gonna be a little bit more fun, a little bit lighter. As you can see, I'm rocking my Toronto Blue Jays hat. I got on a, my Toronto Blue Jays shirt. What? You said Toronto Blue Jays about your hat and your shirt. Really? Yeah. Uh, let's go, man. And I'm rocking a couple of different Drake lanyards from Drake concerts because, well, what says Toronto more than Drake? So this week, I'm gonna do a little recap of my Ask Jay a Question Day what, on Wednesday, on Ask Jay a Question Day on Wednesday on Instagram, uh, where I don't have enough time in the 10 or 15 seconds. Can someone please tell me if it's 10 or 15 seconds? So, one video every couple of weeks will be a long format answer to some of the more fun questions from Instagram the week before. Uh, that's impossible to answer in 10 seconds. Um, but I would say, you know, you have one go at this thing on earth. Let happiness guide you daily. Do what makes you happy. Be happy. Choose happiness. Even that's going to be hard for a minute. <laughs> but as my Instagram video dictates, I think that happiness um, is a great viewpoint. Um, so many people choose to be unhappy. It's a choice. I think happiness is a choice. It starts with you wanting to be happy. Now, of course, there's things like depression. And that's no joking matter. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a doctor. It's some people are prescribed medicine to deal with, you know, chemical imbalances and so on and so forth. I'm not particularly speaking to people that might be affected by that. But a lot of people complain about the weather where they live. Move. People complain about their jobs. Get a new job. Your. I was gonna say your significant other. Uh, get a new one. But that's an, that's gonna be another video uh, about. Uh, people that are replacers versus fixers. Um, but I think that if you make cho make happiness the jump off spot for you, then everything else from there will sort itself out. Without being like preachy, I, tr I try not to do that ever. I would say being a Christian is you always saying, what would God do? You know, in the Instagram video I said, thinking to yourself, what would God do? Um, and I kind of stand by that. I mean, I could further explain that. You know, being Christian, I think, is the pursuit of obviously serving, you know, the Lord's will. Um, but you don't have to be super religious to do that. Like, you don't have to know the Bible backwards and forwards. You don't need to go to church every single week. You, there's a lot you don't have to do in my in my personal and humble opinion to be a good Christian. Mind you, I'm Catholic. Um, subtle differences, we both obviously believe in Jesus, but Christians don't see the significance of Mother Mary where Catholics do. You guys just pray to God where we can still pray to like Saint Anthony. Um, but I think that being a Christian or a good Christian, being what Christian, being, the whole talking thing. I think that if you're trying to be good you're being a good christian man even if you're not christian i was gonna say even if you're jewish but you're being a good jew if you <laughs> if you're good and you're jewish fantastic if you're good and you're catholic one anglican 
fantastic. Something little. So I love my bathroom on my house warm. So I always keep the door closed. So when people use my bathroom and then leave and close the door without me having to, to ask them or do it, <laughs> that makes me so. I really do appreciate when people close my bathroom door. And for those of you that have never been in my bathroom, it means nothing to you. For those of you that have been to my house, you get it. And you're chuckling right now because some of you love it and some of you hate it. Because people will use it and be like, yo, your bathroom is way too hot, bro. Firstly, it's not your bathroom. I, didn't, I don't come to your house and critique your stuff. Leave my bathroom alone. But the people that love it, I just hate sitting on the toilet seat. When I take dookies, I take like a little bit of a longer dookie. So I tend to bring my phones. You know, I got two. What up, Samsung? And uh, and I sit there and uh, and, and it's, it's me time. But that's a little thing that really, really brings me joy. Another thing, in the summertime, I love slushies. So I always go orange, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. So if you see me and you wanna ever surprise me with a slushy, a little bit of orange, a third orange, then you go, well, less than third, then you go like a whole bunch of banana. Oh, I love banana. Kind of like the medicine, you know when you were small and you had the long spoon and, and you had banana medicine for whatever you were sick with? Oh, I love that stuff. So you go a lot of banana, then you top it off with a little bit of Sprite. You make one of those for me. Where's that? I wanna sex you up music. I, I'll want to sex you. <laughs> Biggest pet peeves? Easy. Terrible drivers, terrible parkers, people that don't love Michael and Janet Jackson, and uh, those that don't support their friends and loved ones. You guys are losers. I don't like any of those people. Just like my very impassioned video said, oh man, people that can't park nor drive, you guys are the worst. And not just the worst for mankind. Like I say that generally speaking, you're the worst, but you're the worst for my blood pressure. You're the worst for my happiness. You're for my peace of mind, my state of mind, the slow lane and the fast lane. And the craziest part about that for me in that basically everywhere in the world knows that except Vancouver. I don't understand how people can't, can't, not won't, but can't figure out that the left lane, I guess your guys' left lane, is the fast lane or the passing lane, and the right lane is the driving or slow lane. And when people drive slowly in the fast lane and won't move even when I'm riding their bumper, which I do because I have road rage, um, it infuriates me. Bad parkers, because there are lines, right? So like, you know, this is up and down, but there's lines on the road. You know, those are there, not just as a guide, um, but they're there as not even a recommendation. They're not a suggestion. They're not, uh, you know, the public uh, parking authority or transit authority, whatever it may be, the municipality where you live, suggesting where you should maybe put your vehicle. It is a hard, this is where you park. You park your car in between the two lines, not on the line, not over the line, not in two spots in between the lines. Now, if you don't think that your big Ford F450 or like monster truck, because you're from Maple Ridge, if you don't think that that big ass vehicle could fit in a normal parking spot, why are you parked near the front where all of the other little cars are? Just take a 10 second walk. I like, I love Ryu and Ken, but Mortal Kombat has my heart. Mortal Kombat on Super NES. What? Liu Kang? What? That is. That's so. Mortal Kombat! All the way. All the way. Yo, Street Fighter's so janky, man. Like, I played it because, like, you needed to play it. Like, you couldn't be a well adjusted, well balanced kid and couldn't play, like, with Ryu or Ken or any other Street Fighter players. But Street Fighter is, like, is so whack compared to Mortal Kombat. Is that a focus? You know what I mean? Like, Mortal Kombat is the dopest. The graphics were dope. The the finishing moves were so dope. Even like the physical environments where you got to fight. Like, and this is Mortal Kombat 3 for my Super NES, which is right there. I'm at my house right now. It's right, it's right there. I play Super NES whenever I want. I don't care. And you know, just as like a side note, people are like, oh, are you really at home drinking wine in your onesie playing Mortal Kombat? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, if that's a problem to you, if that isn't really, really dope to you, I'm a Scorpio. 
you definitely missed that because I've been asked that one once or twice, which is okay. You're here now, that's okay. And I'm not beefing with Gemini's. Gemini's are just crazy. Like, um, it's actually Gemini season right now. It's not right. <sighs> These are gonna be a hard 30 days because all you Gemini's are your, like, I see you all posting every day about how crazy you are. Okay, wanna hear how crazy Gemini's are? A Gemini will post on their Instagram, okay? They'll post on their own Instagram memes and like lists of like, oh, uh, but you know what? For fun, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to one. I'm gonna go to one right now. Hold on. I'm gonna go to one right now. So it says, why are Gemini's so, and then it says, so heartless, nervous, bipolar, Attracted to Aries, creative, jealous, private, difficult, crazy, and insane, okay? So this Gemini posted it on her own page, but then had the audacity, had the audacity when I said, hey, are you a Gemini? She goes, yeah, I am. So what? So I was just like, hey, listen, I'm a Scorpio. That makes complete sense. You know, she's kind of cute, whatever, whatever. Never hung out, never whatever, but she's kind of cute. And she's a Gemini. And then she goes, oh, so what's your problem with Gemini's? And I'm like, you just posted a story about how you guys are all crazy. That, my, my friends at home, is exactly why I'm always beefing with Gemini's. The Gemini posted a story about all of Gemini's biggest problems, their flaws, and then got offended when I agreed with them. There's nothing else in the world that's more crazy than that. Nothing, literally nothing. And like, I've dated a few Gemini's. One of them tried to run me off the road in my car. Um, one of them slept outside of my house f more than once. My plea to you is that when it's time for you to have babies, that you just don't have babies, nobody Please, please, just don't have sex in September from now on. I know it's like back to school. Uh, I don't, is that a factor for adults? Maybe that's when you visit Europe or um, parts of Africa because it's not as hot in the summer. Whatever it is, just please don't have sexual intercourse and then get pregnant in September so that we can thin out the Gemini population of Earth. Fine, as Fonda's pointed it out, girls get awfully crazy when I call them cr Wait, what did you say? Girls get awfully sensitive when I call them crazy. Yeah, I can't add anything. <laughs> Listen, y'all, thank you so much for rocking with me. Please hit subscribe, like, comment, tell a friend. Uh, tell your dog walker, you know, go meet a dog walker even if you don't have a dog walker. Tell everybody that you know to subscribe and to show a fellow a little bit of love. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon.